so amazing is the moonlight that makes me wonder why we separated or am i faded you shine so bright it's an understatement single is overrated if you get too close my baby might let you take me back welcome back to my channel welcome back welcome back to the channel guys welcome to another vlog i'm starting this vlog early in the morning it's close to 8 a.m i want to go outside for my morning walk i've started going for walks again because i realized they are really 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 good for my emotional mental physical health we all know that so i'm a little late today because i overslept and i have taken quite some time getting ready to go outside for a walk but yeah i'm ready to go i'll go take like 30 minutes to 45 minutes i have a route for 10 minutes a route for 20 minutes a route for 30 minutes so i want to do the longest route which is usually 40 to 45 minutes i'll try and do it quicker so that i am back home earlier and then i will come and get ready for my day work and do everything that i need to do today so welcome to a spend the day with me kind of vlog let's see how the day goes let's see what we get to accomplish i know you guys will enjoy it's going to sprinkle a lot of organizing a lot of work a little cooking a little self-care i hope you enjoy the vlog and if you do make sure you give it a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel and make sure your post notifications are turned on so you don't miss any and i mean any of my vlog let me go for my work i will talk to you guys once i am by July 1st, which I love. And I just have to say before we get to this episode, okay, guys, I'm feeling so good about doing it, okay? I'm feeling so good about it. I'm feeling so good about it. I feel like the first six months of this year. How much 
guys i got back and as you can see i'm looking like a glazed donut because i applied my body sunscreen on my face and i have oily face but yeah i want to wash it off now i want to go and take a shower get ready for the day i need to have like at least two hours of deep work there are things that i'm working on that need a little more concentration so i want to get ready prep something quick for breakfast sit down and concentrate and then later i am going to come make the bed with you guys i haven't made the bed i've actually stripped it down to air it for the rest of the day i have my new set of bedding here that i got from go to home collections remember i am going to make the bed with you later and also do some organizing in here and in the kitchen that is afternoon business i need to be seated and working so let's go let's get ready for the day and then we work we work and mint the dollar to see you again that was simply delusion followed up with confusion i was just substitution for a lonely bed so that's impressive how much i'm missing with my feelings in my heart
is done and this is what i'm having some tomatoes you guys know i love tomatoes so much some eggs these are two eggs and two smokies an orange and my usual cup of black tea so this should fill me up and keep me full for the next few hours i'll sit down and enjoy my breakfast as i get on with my work been so many hours so many hours it's now 1 30 it's almost 1 30 and i've just been seated here working on so many things i haven't even eaten my fruit but i want to sit and eat i wanted to just catch up with you guys and you know let you know of how my day is going it's going amazing i've had a super super productive morning working on a few things on my laptop and now i want to take a little break because yeah i've been staring at this screen for the last how many hours probably three three hours yeah so i need to take a little break sit down and maybe watch a vlog this afternoon i want to organize my bedroom i also need to make my bed because i haven't made my bed since i changed the sheets i need to put new ones and then i need to do the dishes later as you can see there are quite some dishes in my sink and while i do the dishes i need to make granola and i need to cook dinner so it's gonna be a jam-packed afternoon but i'm dedicated to doing all that so that tomorrow the only thing i need to do is to edit the vlog so that we can have it on time on sunday i realized you guys like to watch my vlog earlier i've posted my vlog twice at noon and you guys seem to enjoy that much more than when i post it later so i want to always have these vlogs ready by midday sunday so that's the plan i still have a lot on my to-do list but not much it's just that i break down everything so that the tasks don't feel like they are a lot so yeah that's the plan so let me think of what i want to eat i'm still full from breakfast maybe just a munchy munchy snack and then i will talk to you guys when it's time to go organize the bedroom my skin my skin is having a moment of shining imagine this is how my skin looks like 
zero zero filters so far my skin tags have healed completely i just need to even out my tone around the cheeks as you can see some parts are brighter but we're doing good we're doing good oh and guys i have a huge i mean a huge haul i have a huge skincare haul and i'm going to bring you along that much later after we've like organized you know after we've done something something and we've listened to some music right <laughs> i will share with you what i got for skincare it's a major restock and i can plug you on what i use to have such kind of skin and i can just give details on all the products that i got but for now let's go see it eat my oranges refill my water bottle and get another snack to eat as we rest we will be back to work at 2 p.m so a 30 minutes break let's go On today's Reflections Corner, I would love for us to talk about sitting in the discomfort, sitting in the discomfort of hard conversations, of getting out of your shell, of pushing yourself out of the comfort zone, of hard feelings and emotions, of things that you're trying to heal from. There's so much power in sitting in that discomfort and that's how healing comes. Healing comes when you allow those feelings to sit with you next to you you and with you and having conversations with those feelings and letting them sit and leave when they are ready to leave i have done this for quite some months and sometimes it can get frustrating because you feel like these things are still here i haven't gotten over this i'm trying to heal from this why can't i just wake up one day and all this is gone and it's in the past but you cannot force healing and you cannot quicken it and you cannot do do anything 
to just you know decide that this is the day that i will heal and again who even said there's a destination you will keep living in that discomfort of new things that you will come across of new people that will hurt you in the future of challenges in life because that is how life is made up of you know so just be comfortable with that discomfort allow it allow that feeling of things are not looking the way you want them to look because you're just trying to control your healing and that can't work that can't work you have to sit there and listen to all those emotions if you have a hard time having hard conversations you have to shake cry kneel crawl through those hard conversations because that is how you grow you can't grow by sitting in that comfortable space you have to allow yourself to go through the fire and by the fire then we mean this discomfort you have to allow yourself to feel everything without filtering without trying to control it without trying to let it go it has to sit with you for it to be okay in the end so i hope to encourage someone today if you're going through something go through it go through it honey just sit through it sit through it call those emotions by name and sit with them and listen to them and remember you are not your feelings you are not your experiences you are not the things that hurt you you're not your trauma those things just found you you are way more than those things and you are valuable and worthy but they are there to make you grow they are there to make you a better person so sit with them embrace them and heal through them okay so we sit in the discomfort and then we do what we grow happy new week Hey guys so i'm getting ready to create some content so i've changed my top into this colorful one this is as far as i can go to red guys <laughs> i know it looks orange but it's red yeah this is as far as i can go to colored clothes like this much colors but yeah anyway i am getting ready to shoot a reel i'm doing the skincare haul as a reel first and then i will share it with you as part of this vlog because i don't want you guys to miss out so i was laying my edges with this laying headband by satin revolution you can see that love that so i've held my hair up in a bun but i have some strands as that because yeah just want to look like a cute baby girl for the real yeah and then guy my skin uh, my skin today is shocking me i don't know it's like the first time i'm seeing my skin healed after the skin tag removal love it so for my lipstick i've added a bit of brown which is um, i've added a bit of fearless by joanna k cosmetics and this voyager i think this is voyager yeah because the super red one is pioneer yeah the voyager from maybelline so that's what i have for the content i wanted a red lip but not the super red one so that looks cute so i'm going to see it do the haul and then we can catch up and talk about the products we can now make the bed organize the bedroom go to the kitchen cook clean all those things but first let's go create some content Hurting on it. So if you love me, won't 
you say you love me You so beautiful, this world get ugly guys i've tried filming this part of this vlog for the last one hour but one of our neighbors just decided today is gonna be her playlist and now it's back and the worst part is it's not our complex it's the next apartment but it's so loud you can hear it in my camera before it gets too loud let me share with you what i got from nt beauty and skincare hub i got a restock of all my skincare products most of them most of them not all but most of them and also got new ones to try so that i can you know work on the hyperpigmentation on my body i have a bit of hyperpigmentation on my arms you can even tell where it starts but the rest of the body matches the face so that's the goal let me change the battery first and then we continue i hope you're not hearing that sound i really hope it's not speaking on the camera because i don't want copyright issues but we have to do this we have to do this so starting us off is my usual cleanser the cerave foaming cleanser i love this cleanser so much i've used i think two bottles as big as this and this can last like a whole year guys it's a lot and i love this value size it's more affordable than getting the smaller ones so i am almost done with the one that i have so i had to buy one and this honestly should last me the rest of the year and probably part of 2025 i also got the cerave moisturizer lotion this is usually recommended for dry to very dry skin but the formula is so lightweight it works perfectly on my skin and considering I have oily to combination so part of my cheeks are a bit normal to dry but my t-zone is oily not super oily but relatively oily this works perfectly i have this size it's gonna last me a while and yeah it's my moisturizer morning and evening i love it so much and then i got the cos rx snail mucin power essence i love this product so much i love it so much i use it morning and night to hydrate my skin after cleansing because sometimes the foaming cleanser can dry out my cheeks especially so i love to apply this before i layer my moisturizer and t beauty recommended that i get this toner it's called the thai tiam yeah i think it's tiam <laughs> it's a vita b5 toner it's highly hydrating that's what they told me and i need to be using this after the cleanser and then before the snail mucin so i'm excited to try it and i will let you guys know how it performs but yeah i have a new product i have introduced a toner my routine doesn't have a toner because well i used to have one but it's an exfoliating toner that i use like once a week so i'm happy to introduce one that i can use daily i'll share with you the progress and if i see any change using this i will let you guys know i got my vitamin c uh that i use this is the uncover baobab glow c serum love this product so much i love the formula i love how easy it soaks into the skin i love the scent i love how brightening it is it has really brightened my face i have an even tone now just a bit i have just a bit of hyperpigmentation around my mouth but it's clearing thanks to this and the combination of all the other things guys honestly skincare is a combination of so many things including lifestyle changes so it's not only one product that will fix the problem that you have you have to have a routine that works you have to have other actives and you have to have a healthy lifestyle drink your water eat your fruit eat your veggies sleep on a certain pillowcase all those things contribute to healthy skin yeah so i got my vitamin c it's almost done too i also got the polar's choice bha liquid this is the two percent bha liquid exfoliant i use this to exfoliate my skin once a week sometimes twice if i'm feeling like my pores are congested works like magic and you don't even have to use a cotton uh piece a cotton pad with it you just need to apply it on the face leave it on for like five minutes before you apply the next product and it works amazing so this is usually my exfoliant the team at nt beauty recommended that i get lactic acid and also my aesthetician 
Christian Maureen from Thrive Beauty has mentioned that I need to start on another exfoliant which is lactic acid to heighten the effects of using exfoliants into your routine so I am started on the most what do we say the mildest for my skin type which is 10% lactic acid it has hyaluronic acid so it should be good for my skin but I'm going to start on it once a week all these new products I will introduce them alone so that I can test how they are on my skin but this is the the ordinary lactic acid 10% plus hyaluronic acid now that's all I got for my facial skin let me share with you what I got for my body here we go I got a sugar scrub the tree heart share sugar scrub exotic bloom let me tell you guys this this scrub smells amazing it smells like sweet it smells like sweet soaked in butter and flowers and milk it's just amazing i love it and i can't wait to use it for this week's pamper routine that i will do over the weekend and i will share with you as i continue to use it and let you know how i feel about it but yeah we have a new scrub the tree heart share and sugar scrub and then remember i got a body conditioner a few weeks ago the sheer body conditioner from ole i got a retinal one to use with the other one or to alternate with the other one and the girls at nt beauty told me if i am clearing my hyperpigmentation then i need to also start on an anti-aging product for my body and that means i need to introduce products or actives actives in my body care routine so that i can balance out the tone clear the hyperpigmentation keep my skin moisturized all those good things so i am starting on this retinol one so i'll only be using this at night because yeah you don't use retinol during the day yeah i'll be using this for my night showers after my night showers to just introduce the retinol to my body skin and then on the same breath i needed to get a glycolic acid body wash again for clearing my hyperpigmentation on the body so i had to buy this one i've seen great reviews on the naturium the smoother glycolic acid body wash i will use this for a while and then i'll let you guys know how it works on my skin and if i see any changes i'm actually going to take progress pictures i'm going to take pictures of my arms and uh, my legs especially the rest of the body is the same tone as my face but my arms especially here they're just dark because of prolonged exposure to sunlight when i was younger and i took quite some time to introduce sunscreen for my body so yeah we have a lot of work to do for the body we're gonna do it and we will see what we achieve and then again still on brightening my body i got the ole vitamin c body lotion so this is supposed to help brighten my skin over time it's it's actually written brightening body lotion and the girls at anti beauty told me this is one of their best sellers it comes and goes like hot cake so guys take it from them at least for now that this is something that you need to add to your routine i was like oh it's a bestseller put it for me i will try it and i will let the girlies know so guys make sure you check all my vlogs make sure you watch my vlogs because now i have a lot of updates to share with you so you don't want to miss any of these reviews but yeah i'm super excited super excited to try these products guys please make sure you check nt beauty and skincare hub that's where i get my skincare i've bought skincare from them for over two years now probably more they are amazing i love their customer service i love that all their products are original and genuine i have seen fakes on the market and you guys are buying them you guys be careful be careful you don't want to play with your skin okay you don't want to play with your skin so check them out for all your skincare solutions especially products if you're looking to build a routine or you're looking for where to buy all these products you see us reviewing go to anti beauty they will sort you out tell them i sent you and they might give you a sweet <laughs> 
I'm plugging them guys because I've been a customer for a very long time and nothing I've bought from them has disappointed me so yeah make sure you check that but also guys please note we have different skin types my skin is combination oily it is not acne prone so I rarely get breakouts my t-zone tends to be oily my cheeks tend to be normal to dry but it's been changing over time with the facials that I have been doing at Thrive Beauty so that also has contributed to my skin evening out but it's still t-zone oily as you can see I am shining like a donut but I am normal over here so Please note that our skin types are different, so do not buy a product because you saw that I recommended that product, yet you have a totally different skin type from mine. That's why I got products for hyperpigmentation for the body. I have an issue with my oily skin. That's why I have niacinamide in my routine. That's why I have the Polar's Choice BHA liquid in my routine because of the oil and the whiteheads and the pores and all that you get. Yeah, so you have to look at all the concerns that you have before you get your product so that you make sure you buying products that are working for your skin these products are not cheap we already know that so don't waste your money just buying something because you saw someone else buying it make sure you're using it because your skin needs it and will benefit from it okay so now that we are done with that i want to take you guys to the bedroom we need to go make the bed fold some clothes <sighs> i hate that not all the clothes dried when my cleaning lady was here so yeah we have some folding to do fold some clothes make the bed and then we will finish with kitchen things let's go to the bedroom Something to say, blew everybody away Wear whatever I want Dressed in a gown, everybody's like Why are you going nowhere special? Just going to the store I think I'd have it all, tell you why I'd be more Picking a plate, being a plate She is unruly Never seen her like this Didn't think it existed, no truly Don't get in the way, she's not here to play She'll get moved Take this girl for being me Cause these are dream rules This is someone else I'm not myself, no, no mm -hmm. Cause these are dream rules This is someone else I'm not myself, no, no Problems disappear. She could tell you the things you wanna hear. She could read your mind and that she could rely of a little lie to tell yourself it die. Never get it wrong, it's always right. Making the play, being the play. She is on a rule. Never seen it like this. Didn't think it existed. No truth. She's not here to play, she'll get moody But don't mistake this girl for being me Cause these are dream rules This is someone else, I'm not myself, no, no mm -hmm. Cause these are dream rules
Baby, please just take it slow. There's no need to rush things, no. Let's figure out a way. You know it's you and me. Don't care what I say. So please don't go away, don't leave. Without you, boy, I cannot breathe. Let's figure out a way. You know it's you and me. Don't care what I say. organizing all the clothes in the closet and I've put my new skincare and body care here but I need to either get a shelf to put in the bathroom with all the products that I use and that I have or get a dresser get like a long one because I do have some space between the bedside stool and my dressing table situation I do have some space maybe I can get like a dresser or maybe some extra storage because yeah my my closet is not big enough and I have quite a lot of things to store so maybe I might get a dresser with some drawers and then I can organize all the extra things there I like when things are tucked away so having all these products out in the open is already making me anxious. <laughs> so yeah, I'll reach out to Lazy Bunny. We see what we can create. Maybe a tall one that can be like sort of like an extra closet. And maybe when I move into a bigger house, I can still use it as storage, whether in the kitchen or in the bedroom. I'll see what design I can come up with for that. Yeah, so a lot of things on my little counter desk thing there but it's okay it's okay i will figure it out i'll figure how to get some organization going so guys i got myself a new duvet because the duvet i have is perfect for when it's super hot that's like the jan feb march months it's super lightweight so i've been using it with a uh, fluffy blanket to layer on top so that it's not super cold at night but i thought let me just get myself another duvet because i've been wanting to get a white duvet for a while now and i feel i feel like yeah i feel like it's time so i reached out to my friend she sells binded duvets i will open and show you guys how it looks like and this set comes with a pillowcase no two pillowcases and a bed sheet and she's pretty affordable if you ask me i'm going to leave her tiktok page here she's mostly on tiktok but i'll also leave her number in the description box so that you guys can go and reach out go tell her maureen sent you she knows me as maureen because she's from home <laughs> Go tell her Maureen sent you, buy your duvets. She's in Kamokonji, so you know the prices are right, okay? Yeah, so I want to open so that I can show you guys how the binded duvet looks like. And then we will dress it and that will be it. I am not a CD like that to wash my new duvet. May I believe it's clean and it's not getting into contact with my skin. So I have the cover, yeah? yeah me i'm not ocd like that in fact i have zero ounces of ocd guys me i just i am just i am just a clean person but i am not an ocd mm -mm. i don't think i have even two percent of ocd and it's a disorder you guys keep saying ocd 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 is a disorder i don't think i have it i'm able to stay with messes things being disorganized don't bother me i will sleep two days with dishes in my sink and nothing will happen so yeah let me open show you what it is how it looks like and then we make the bed and go do kitchen things we go do kitchen things so love the bag first impressions love the bag so i think this is the bed sheet yeah i think this is the bed sheet and the cases oh, oh yeah here are the cases you know the hotel vibe yeah it's striped love it and it's very good cotton actually very very good cotton these ones are wash the bed sheet and the pillowcases are wash but the cover guys mm -mm. but the duvet mm -mm. allow me to just dress it in my cover and that's it so yeah 
it's very full very fluffy i got a six by seven because most of my covers are big so i didn't want to have spillage or leftover material with my covers a lot of it that is i know i'd have some but i didn't want a lot of it so this is how the duvet looks like so let me show you what it means to get a binded duvet so this is what we call binded so it has a binding all around it looks pretty amazing if you ask me it looks pretty pretty amazing we'll see how it holds up but yeah i'm going to leave her number go support her go get your duvets and she can get you other things household stuff she sent me a mat those bathroom mats for drying your feet after you come out of the shower she sent me that i'll show you guys next time when we're cleaning the bathroom or something but yeah go and support her business everything else that i'll be using on my bed is from go to home collections you guys saw the haul last weekend yeah i shared that so these pillowcases are from a duvet cover she sent me a while ago i've had this for quite some time and then i'll use this brown goes really well with white and then this is the fitted sheet and the duvet cover so let's make the bed has gone out and it's been a while since it went out unfortunately i can't film in the kitchen without enough lighting and i usually use my bulbs when in the kitchen because it's pretty dark i think we will do the rest tomorrow i'm also very tired i just want to remove this small small makeup do my evening skincare routine and rest i'll catch you guys tomorrow hey guys it's the next day good morning hey let me tell you guys today i am feeling really good i'm feeling really really good i woke up late because i struggled to sleep last night and i don't even know why but i think i was overstimulated because i walked into the night so yeah i took some time to sleep so i've woken up late but i am ready for my day now it's 9 30 i'm ready to start working but before i start working i need to eat because i'm hungry and i don't want to cook anything complex for breakfast 
I actually do want to have granola because today it's sunny, it's not cold at all. Well, it's a bit cold, but it's manageable. So I want to eat some granola and I want to finish this last batch because later I'll be making a new batch. Remember I mentioned that guys yesterday? Yeah, we're going to make granola together later that is. So I need to finish this. Um, make myself a cup of tea, of course, then sit and do some deep work for two hours. Every day I am doing some sort of deep work. It doesn't matter if I have work to do or not. I can literally just sit there and take a class or just um, look at my analytics, you know, come up with ideas for content. I am making it a very serious thing and, you know, taking like a dedicated amount of time to research and to work on the things that i'm working on yeah so let's fix this quickly this is a quick breakfast and that's why i love granola because you can have breakfast in two seconds two seconds <laughs> yeah let me get my things we do this together let me make my tea water I use this bio foods uh, berry cocktail yogurt I love the taste it comes with real berries so it's very very yum and I usually buy this big pack this big tumbler because most times if I'm having yogurt I'm having it with granola or maybe topping it with fruits or just like having a small portion and this makes economical sense to buy than the small ones but i do get the small ones sometimes to pack for lunch when i need to leave the house but not so many times so this works so just like three to four tablespoons of yogurt and then this granola the good thing with granola is that you don't need a lot it's so filling because of all the nuts and the sugars in the oats um yeah the fiber in the oats i mean the fruit the nuts the seeds yeah it's so filling so this it might look like it's little but this is a lot this is enough for breakfast and then my tea i don't want to eat with a big spoon i'm such a baby i am such a baby what do we call people that don't like heavy consistencies of food there's a name for it if you don't tell us i think i am that kind of a person i hate thick things i hate i hate slimy i hate anything that has like um a mushy mushy texture yeah so that's why i don't even make smoothies do you see, do you do you guys see me making smoothies that's why i don't like i don't like smoothies and i don't like those kinds of fruits that have that uh heavy consistency so i rarely eat mangoes and if i do it's yeah just it's not my favorite fruit i prefer pineapple oranges the watery ones berries apples the crunchy ones i can take that but like bananas mangoes popo anything that has that texture i don't like and it's not even because i don't like the taste of the fruit it's because yeah of that consistency so even with yogurt it's just that yeah i really force it down my throat and i rarely take it alone i will probably take it with nuts with something to add to that texture so it's not just that um, heavy consistency yeah Tell me the name. Tell me the name. I need to know what that name is. I know there is a name for that. Yeah, there must be a name for that. Usually, I leave my tea bag inside. <laughs> Am I teaching you guys how to make black tea? <laughs> it's funny. But anyway, yeah, I leave my tea bag in the tea. And I don't take it until like uh, five minutes later. So the tea leaves have brewed quite well. Sometimes I'll make it on the pot, like on the fire in a pot. But... 
who has the time we don't have the time so yeah my breakfast is ready i'll just take an apple maybe later not later like after this i'll wash an apple and eat i've been trying to eat a fruit a day or two a fruit or two a day so i always have some fruit in my house and it's doing wonders for my digestive health and my skin health as you guys can see oh and my water oh and my water but because it's kind of cold i usually just add hot water to my cold water <laughs> To make it warm i don't mind warm water at all in fact i prefer warm water and room temperature water i can't take ice cubey things a lot because of yeah i tend to get those thro sore throats yeah so warm water and my breaky and then i'll have a fruit later and that should be good for my morning so i want to see it eat that as i journal and as i plan my day then sit and do the work that i need to do today is quite busy because I need to edit a reel, I need to start editing this vlog, I need to post the reel, I need to do some admin things for something that I'm working on, I need to yeah, call a couple of people, I also need to follow up on written work yeah yeah i am a three in one today i am a writer today i'm a content creator today and an entrepreneur all three at the same time but it is life it is what it is so i will do that so yeah i'll talk to you guys probably when i am done with work much much later so that we can clean the kitchen it's still in a mess we can clean the kitchen make the granola and we can cook dinner together i want to show you guys a chicken recipe that i tried that is the bomb the bomb.com yeah we can have that and then yeah that will be it that will be it really i know this vlog is already so long yeah but you guys love long vlogs so yeah enjoy <laughs> see you guys later if you try you wouldn't understand it maybe something's missing inside of you just a bit of sugar to that heart bitter maybe you taste different hold up hold up can't sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different My goodness today 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 guys it's 5 p.m and i've been sat on that counter for hours i had a lot to work on today and i wanted to finish that so that i can sort of have a restful weekend although i am here to edit this vlog which takes me about six hours but that's a problem for tomorrow so i'm done with my work day and i am done like i'm done i'm not looking at that laptop again today well i'm lying I'll, i might have to <laughs> i might have to because i still need to process some work but yeah i want to take a little break and go outside i've been on the screens for hours and hours on end i want to sort of decompress so i want to take a little walk not like a fitness walk just a decompressing walk i'm not even going to change i'm just going to put on maybe another sweater because this is my nightgown <laughs> i'm going to find another sweater and go outside i want to go looking for pineapple and watermelon because the only fruits i have in the house are oranges and apples and i feel like i've had those enough times I want to get a change and get other fruits yeah and then when i come back i'll share with you if i do find them and then we can go do kitchen things finally we're gonna do kitchen things today so i'm going to do the dishes and then we make granola and then i share with you that chicken recipe that i told you about and that will make my dinner and that will be it so let me go for my little walk i'll catch you guys when i come back Peshigi 
I went to the shops and bumped into my sister, so this turned out to be a little sister sister hangout, which was so nice. So I convinced her to come to my house to get some snacks that was in plan i had told her that she could come and grab some snacks that i had but the main goal of me convincing her to come to my house was to help me do the dishes because yeah by this time i was pretty tired and i really really wanted to clean the kitchen and just you know cook and finish the vlog so yeah she came through for me she did the dishes i didn't do any of that i just cooked and we had such a lovely time catching up just beating stories is laughing as we always do and i felt so so grateful for her you know having her around as much as yes we stay close to each other we don't see each other often because of work and just our schedules but yeah it was a nice coincidence that she was around where i was uh, buying fruit so yeah really really grateful for my sister thank you peshi for doing my dishes and for hanging out with me she was telling me that i was speaking so much because i hadn't spoken to someone in a long time <laughs> and i thought that was funny but it's true i was yapping and yapping and yapping trying to catch her up with everything that had happened to me all week but yeah it's really nice to have sisters if you have sisters treasure them and build a relationship with them hang out with them as as often as you need to treat them nicely you know just just create a nice bond they are heaven sent and they are forever best friends yeah so i had a really lovely time so me i did all the cooking and she did the cleaning even if you try you wouldn't understand it maybe something's missing inside of you just a bit of sugar to that heart sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different It never hit you Our conversation takes to Paying it some interest From time to time Inside all that greatness In all of your adventures You're all alone Hold up, hold up, baby I can sit beside you While you're going on About your simple Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different
So now that my sister was here, I decided to make a big batch of granola because I wanted to share it with her and also to replenish mine because I had finished in the morning. So yeah, I made granola and I'm going to leave a link to the recipe in the description box. I use a similar one every time and it's very, very easy to make, very quick, but super rich with nice ingredients. I use oats nuts and seeds coconut oil honey cinnamon salt it's just a very simple but very nutritious granola recipe so make sure you check the description box i will leave the link there As you guys know, I love trying out new recipes and a few weeks ago I was looking for nice chicken breast recipes and I came across this one. There's this website that has really nice recipes. I think it's the same one I got the granola recipe from. I'm going to leave a link to the chicken recipe that I used here. It has sugar, paprika, herbs, it has salt, black pepper, just the usual ingredients we use but it comes out super juicy. I really enjoy making this chicken and it's very hassle free you just need to mix everything put in the oven for 20 minutes and it's done so I made this and we ate it all I packed for my sister and I had the other share and that was it but I really really enjoyed it and I had to share it with you guys check the description box I'm going to leave the link there you can go and bookmark and try it when you have time or come back to the vlog and see how I made it you tell him he's all you see tell him you got his keys cause you thought he needed them but he's not coming back again so he's gone leaving then you won't see him again it was convenient but you won't be staying friends and you know that sweetie you know that think you knew it before but you just ignored that so now you won't take Sort of hurt, it makes you see clear that you were just, you were just lost, you were just lost. But now you found, and you realize it wasn't at all like what you created in your mind. It wasn't even nice, you wasted all your time. You didn't even like him in real life. He said he thought it would be nice if we. Nice, but let's get back to real life. 
Of course, I had to find an accompaniment for the chicken and I thought of just making simple veg. So I had some French beans in the fridge and some carrots. I always have these for days that I need to eat vegetables, but I don't have time to prep like a lot of them. So yeah, I just cut up some carrots. My sister helped me with that. And then I sliced the carrots in the Julian style, then cut up the French beans in one big chunk. So they were all crunchy and sweet and I just fry vegetables with butter and salt and that's it but I like to char mine so they look like they are a little burned but they still stay crunchy but they have like a, a nice sweet um, taste on the top so that's what I did I made the veg to go with the chicken and that made our dinner One of the ways that I show love to my loved ones is cooking for them and giving them food. So I packed my sister a lot of food. Of course, the chicken and the veg. I put for her a whole jar of the granola because I wanted her to go and taste it. And then I had some snacks that I had kept for quite some time and I wanted to give them to her because, yeah, I'm not as snacky as I seem. I think I collect snacks, but I rarely eat them. So, yeah, I I had to pack her all the snacks that I had in my cabinet so they wouldn't go bad and she enjoys snacking so yeah I packed her a bag gave her some fruit we had bought others together just packed her a nice package to just go and add weight with me <laughs> you woke up from a while haven't seen your smile since December ripped your heart got a brand new one since you got lost in November See it in your eyes when we leave for tonight Way too many heartbreaks still on your mind Let the flame burn down for a while Let the flame burn out for a while Stay in the moment Stay in the moment with me Give you a moment to Give you a moment with me Smell all the roses Smell all the roses with me the same this was such a nice hangout with my sister and it made me see just how intentional i want to be with our relationship i plan and hope to have so many more hangouts with her cook with her hang out with her spoil her spend time with her listen to her advise her just you know be in the gen z world a little and learn what's happening but yeah, I really enjoyed and thank you so much, sister, if you're watching this. Thank you so much for helping me do the dishes and for hanging out with me this evening and for supporting your big sister. I felt loved and appreciated. I see you climbing, been trying to find your way. That is all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. And if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. And make sure you turn on your post notifications so you don't miss my future vlogs. Thank you guys. I will see you next Sunday. Mwah. Bye. Since we were stuck in LA, we're gonna jump the rooftop and come watch the skyline with me.